Hello everybody and welcome to another video. Last week it was my birthday and it turns out that it's also Edgar Rice Burroughs' birthday. Uh, you may know him as the creator of Tarzan. Uh, he also created John Carter and um, those are my favorite books by him, the John Carter books. They're so exciting, there's so much action and so much adventure. Um, and my favorite uh, creatures that live in Mars or Barsoom, as it's called in the books, are the Tharks. The Tharks are the green Martians. There's different colored Martians. You have red ones, you have white ones, you have blue ones, and you have the green ones, which are the Tharks. Their description is so interesting. They're described as having two torsos, and uh, they have four arms, they have tusks coming out of their mouth. They're so interesting. I really, really like the character design in, in these creatures. Uh, some of you might be thinking about Goro from Mortal Kombat, but of course this, this is so much earlier. But yeah, uh, the Tharks are fascinating. Their culture is so violent and cruel emotions are forbidden and even punishable by death but then and there's of course uh tars tarkas who's the the tark who john carter befriends in the books and he's a great character he's the only uh, at least at the beginning he's the only tark that shows any emotions and he has a sense of humor too uh here i drew a tark having defeated a white ape, which are some of the other creatures from Barsoom. Uh, they're described basically as white gorillas. They're supposed to be really big. If you think about the height of the Tark as being almost double as that of a human being because of the two torsos, then uh, you might see how big uh, the white apes are. For the background that I'm drawing right now, I actually looked up real photos of Mars taken by the Curiosity rover. And it's really interesting how many of these rock form formations there are. They have these stacked up rocks and the, mm, they grow in layers. We have some of those here on Earth, of course. I think the most famous ones are Vasquez rocks, which you have seen in so many movies and TV shows. More, most famously in Star Trek. Um, I really like the 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 terrain in Mars. Uh, it it's really interesting. So I try to replicate a little bit of that here. Um, in regards to the color, of course, for th <laughs> for hundreds of years, we have thought that. Mars is red, but it's actually brown. And uh, I thought that was fascinating, the fact that we, uh, we finally saw what it looks like. And, and it's very similar to Earth in a way, um, which makes sense if you think about it. So I decided to go for a bit more realistic look. I didn't want to paint it completely re red Although, as you'll see later, I did give it an orangey uh, hue. Just because people are more familiar with Mars being red. But anyway, uh, what you're listening right now is, of course, Mars, the bringer of war by Gustav Holst from the, his uh, planet suite, uh, which is also one of my favorite pieces of classical music. So I, I, I had to use it. Like I have said before, uh, with watercolors, it's better to sneak up on the colors. You build them up layer by layer, little by little. And even though I did want to, I did go for a cartoony style. I didn't want the colors to be flat. So I am working a bit on the background especially 
I really wanted to get the shape of those rocks across. The green was also a big draw for me to do this drawing. I really like painting colorful things. That's one of the reasons I love watercolor, because the colors can be so, vi so vibrant. And painting colorful characters always uh, makes me enjoy it so much. So the green for the Tarks was the natural choice. Of course, the ape is white. That's one of the main characteristics. So I, uh, I left him white, just added some shadows, as you'll see. And I, I did add some red to the mouth and to... I, I, I added the indication of a wound because the tart just killed it. I thought about doing a different color for the blood, but honestly, I can't remember if there's ever any mention of the ape's uh, blood color or any of the other creatures from, from Barsoom from the books. So I, I just went for red because I wanted to read like blood. Uh, something I mentioned in the last video was that you have to find a balance between something looking alien but not too much so that you don't recognize what's happening or what what the shapes are. So in this case I just I thought that red blood would be the way to go so you you know it's blood even though it's a white ape that has four arms. <laughs> um, I also wanted to add some of the some of the accessories to the Tark. They're described as wearing these these ornamental pieces. Um, most of the creatures on Barsoom are actually naked, even the humanoid ones, like the red Martians except for some accessories and in the case of the Tarks their accessories also denote their rank because they are warlike so when John Carter comes to Barsoom and he kills one of the Tarks he earns that Tark's uh, rank and its accessories with it so that's one of the reasons John Carter is able to climb in the social ladder of the Tarks. So I, I went for these uh, straps, kind of like, uh, kind of like He-Man and the Masters of the Universe. They have these harnesses that are so strange, but they kind of work for this. And I added some. Um, protection for their arms and and their legs here I'm adding some color to the background like I said I did use a bit of an orange hue just so that there's the indication that it is Mars and not just earth, not just some desert on earth. I also used the greenish uh, blue for the sky. That's what it looked like to me in all of the photographs that I found. You can look them up on the internet. NASA has published what they found and they have actually published tinted versions because people expect, it, expect Mars to be red. So they did tint some of them but you can find the the actual colors and the corrected colors too so that's it for today thank you so much for joining me i had a lot of fun doing this and in my birthday in general remember that i have my patreon page where you can go and support me if you like uh, there you can get this picture and then every other picture that i have published so check it out, there's some really cool rewards that you can get. And uh, have a nice time, I'll see you around. <laughs>